Hi everyone and welcome along. This is a follow on video from any of you with those full bore quarter turn valves that I've been talking about in the last few videos. We can replace those horrible ball of fix things and put one of these nice quarter turn lever valves. Full flow, doesn't restrict any water supply and always work guaranteed. How about taking it a little bit step further? Uh, this I found on eBay and I quite like the look of it. I'm going to fit one and show you how it goes. That's one of these, this is this device here, uh, it wasn't too much money and I thought it was worth a go and what it is obviously is a Wi-Fi smart valve as you can see it actually sits across your lever valve and what it does basically is turn that valve for you so if you are using it as a main stopcock you can use your phone to turn it on and off things like this, you always got control and obviously if you've got things like I want to use it for to a tap to the outside garden and it means I can leave the tap on turn it off for this in the summertime especially when I've got my sprinkler out there if I'm away or anything like that I can just set times up on the app what's on the phone to turn the thing on at set times a day to water the garden or the flowers or whatever saves you trying to get a neighbour in and all this kind of thing I think it's got lots of really good handy uses so we're going to split this thing now and show you how it goes. It looks quite simple. Here then we have a valve. As you can see this one was facing horizontal. I've faced it up. It does say it prefers to have it facing upright if possible. But I'm sure it would still work on horizontal and the sideways. I don't see why not. You see our valve. I've fitted the little lever to connect over the handle. And the little back lever has got to have a jubilee clip through it. It's quite similar. You can see how it's going to go. It's going to go like that. And have a jubilee clip through here and clamp to the valve so it's quite simple if you've already got one of these on there's no need to turn the water off or anything unless you do need to turn the valve in a different position slightly to allow the head to fit so unless you've got a problem with that you may have to move the valve around but i'm assuming you've replaced something with this so you can still turn your water off and do that fairly easily so let's say it feeds my outside water tap so i want this in particularly for the summertime uh, I know we've had a lot of rain for the winter, but <laughs> sometimes we get some dry periods in the summer. So this is going to be really handy for me to set up to water the old plants and the grass and everything else uh, as and when I need it. And also, obviously, I need that stop tap off for the winter. I can just shut it off with this. And I think it's going to be quite a useful thing. So there's going to be lots of uses for this all around the home. There you are. I've just tightened the Jubilee clip on there. See it clamped on there, it clamped on around the nut there. And we're kind of ready to go now. The two bolts are in position around the lever. Up there, can you see that? So it's going to turn that lever. So all that remains now is to download the app and let's uh, give it a go. Before we do a test with the app, uh, just to show you the power lead here, it's just a simple straightforward connector, okay, like that. And it's the usual you know, type plug, but you do get sent a, a UK plug, which is a, quite unusual, so we can just plug them in there. So all you've got to do is find out which your handy socket and have room for that to come out of wherever it's being plugged into, okay? So it's just a little something else that you've got to look at, that space in between there and the, the plug. Other than that, that's it really. We, yeah, we'll get that app on, shall we? Here then is the app. The robotic arm is off, robotic arm. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna turn the switch on and then you can see up there that the valve is off. I'll get it around this line we've got in here. You can see it's off with the pipe. So we'll switch it on now from the switch here. And you can hear the motor start to go and you can see it turning off straight away. Well, turning on, sorry. And that is now on. We can do the same thing, turn it off, get him off, and there he goes. And back on. So, for my usage, the most important thing for me is the timer down here. Well, I haven't added any times yet, but as you can see, you can add all the times of on and off, repeat, and all the kind of things you need. Notification that it's switched and on and off and so on and notes. So this is really kind of exactly what I want <laughs> to control that outside tap for me. And you also have one here, a very useful one for remaining time. Another handy one, which I like. And finally, as you can see, if you've got Alexa, 
you can set this up to control it with Alexa I've got Google Assistant so I'm going to set it up with my Google Assistant so I can just tell it to turn the valve on and off as I need it so all round don't know what it's going to be like in the long term but it seems quite a nice idea so there you are even if you haven't got one of these valves and you'd like to put one on and make sure you've got room to fit this motor uh, it may be a thing that will make you fit that valve to give you a little bit more room so that, that could go on because obviously that is a nice idea to be able to shut the thing on and off from your phone and a great idea I think as I say longevity wise I don't know but I do like the fact it's, it can work your Alexa or your Google and you can just tell it to come on and off for me the water in the plants wins a day <laughs> okay but that's always just a, a nice idea and it just means if you are thinking of getting one of these valves a valve might only be four to six pound uh, this valve was just under 30 pound to fit on it it's still cheaper automation than sure stops which are a lot more money altogether <clears throat> and I don't think they're going to be quite as reliable, honestly, as this motor that sits on here. Also, you can use it, obviously, for other applications, turning switches and stuff like this that have quarter turn levers of all sorts. So, yeah, a range of applications. I like it. I wasn't sent it for review. Please believe me that. <laughs> I just actually saw it and thought, I like the idea of that. I think I'll buy it, and that's what I've done. I'll let you know how it gets on. Anyway, other than that, that's about it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, catch you again next time. Okay, bye.